So in this video we're going to put together this uh, BCD, me and Mark, uh, and in the end we're going to give it to Shy. You guys remember Shy? maybe, she's uh, like our little scuba apprentice, so she's coming here, we're just going to tell her she's helping us be a model so we can make this custom harness and we're going to give it to her, so it's going to be cool. Here she comes, right? Alright guys, I'm here with Mark, my instructor trainer. Since I got him here, uh, I said, can you help me put together this harness and backplate system? So that's what we're going to do. Let's see. Pink donut. It's going to be sweet looking. So uh, I'm going to let him uh, help me. I'm going to film because there's a lot of little parts around here. And uh, we're going to make an awesome little BCD. All right. So the first thing you did was we burned a hole in the very center of... The harness this is way too much uh but we can trim it at the end but we got the hole uh align it up with the top yeah and bolt it in for now you have to hold it hold it in place it will not go anywhere okay next will be threading it So these are the uh, shoulder straps, putting them nice and secure in the back plate. This is a really light aluminum back plate. I like the heavy ones, but this one, this person doesn't need a lot of weights. First page is done. Right. Now we'll go for the D-rings. D-rings? Yeah. Got those. First, a host retainer. I need to put a host retainer. We'll be using bungee cord later. Yeah, I'm not sure where I put the bungee cord, but I'll find it later. Okay. So we'll just guess, guess the size for now on the placement? Yeah. And we'll be adjusting it as per the person who yeah. will use it. So this goes here, the left and the right. Can use. And you want the. I like the threaded the one. The, one. Teeth. the one with the teeth because it does not move. Yeah. It stays in place. It's difficult to get on, but it yeah. stays in place. Okay, and also make sure that this is not upside down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Because sometimes I put it upside down, it's wrong. Okay. So now they're, you gotta make sure they're yeah, we'll, uh, really we'll, even. We'll adjust it later when we uh, do the fitting. Yeah. Okay, then we'll put the lock. So you got both straps in there and you're gonna put the lock down. And we'll have to adjust that later depending on the person or sliders or something yeah slider lock number two and back into the bc and then, okay it's all even yep all right let's see nice uh, we can do the fitting now before we include the D-rings on the waist. Okay, so... Hey, Shai, can you help us... Uh... Hello, Shai. <laughs> can you be our model and help us adjust this thing? Okay, yeah. so... Yep. <laughs> it's a little big. Yeah. Yeah, it's really big for her, for now. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, can you can you tie your hair? Okay. What the? Uh, can you reach the top of the? Sorry. Can you reach the top of the backlight? There. So the user should be able to reach the top of the backplate. So for now, we will see the adjustment that we can do. Okay. So maybe around five inches. Five inches. Take okay. off five inches. Yeah. And take off five inches. All right. Okay. So when we have all of these in the shop instead of a uh, jacket style, we could have like 10 of these and it covers everybody instead of having five small, five medium, five large, five extra large. We could just do some quick adjustments and uh, save a lot of money. So he took five inches off the uh, shoulders and then he raised these up on the shoulder, made sure they're even and everything. Uh, we'll put a bungee under here with a loop so that the inflator hose will stay there. Uh, so I can you um, hear it? No. There. I think I can get it from here. Oh, just adjusting it right yeah. there. A little more tight. Okay, what I want you to do, oh, let me hold this, here it is. See your black belt, like a ninja. Okay, now, on the harness type, this actually doesn't matter. In fact, you need to be able to push your, put your uh, fist uh, to slip your fist inside. Look at me. Clench fist. Clench your fist. Try to put it inside. There. Okay. Nice so, so as long as you can put your uh, make it clenched, as long as you can put it inside, it means that that will be a perfect fit. Okay. Can you uh, can you strap it? Okay. And also, as I said before, earlier, if this one is too high, it will only hit the head of the, no, the, the tank diver. valve. Yeah, tank valve. So this one should be low enough for the user just to reach the top of the yeah. uh, the plate. Okay. The smallest harness I assembled for now. <laughs> probably, okay. It probably fits the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we'll connect the hip D-ring. The uh, purpose of the hip D-ring is basically for, it's basically multi-purpose. For, in technical diving, we use this one to stage our clip, to stage our tank on the clip. For, uh, for recreational, you can use this for clipping your uh, tools, like uh, SMB, like, uh, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Hey, if you ever use this BCD, I can put a little uh, leash on you. You can just drag me around the ocean so I don't have to do any work. <laughs> now, since she's very small, her hip bone is like this big. Yeah. So we got one on. So we got one on both sides now. Yeah, I got one on both sides, and we need another one. Yeah, and we need another one for SPG. SPG. So you clip your SPG on this third D ring. Right. So you're adding this for what? Belt retainer. What is that? It's uh, like a rubber band almost. It's a rubber band. You will see it in a bit. All right. So we got two rings. We'll put another uh, a rubber retainer. retainer. Now we'll be attaching the buckles. Let me see. I always mess that up. And 
button inside and we'll be doing another fitting <laughs> usually i don't want to cut it so that uh, when the user uh, grows up <laughs> grows yeah if she grows <laughs> she she still has extra yeah. webbing this is the purpose of the rubber retainer ah okay there hello guys Everybody needs a t-shirt, right? T-shirt, tons house, whatever. And also, please don't forget to purchase it here or on our online shop below. Okay, thank you so much for the support. Okay. Uh, okay, more, 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 oh more, 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 make it okay. tight. Okay, make, make it tight, then I'll measure it so I know where to move it. We could have bought half the harness. Okay, so the important thing, this one does not need to be fit. This one needs to be secured. Okay, more. Ah, yeah, we'll okay, go no tighter. more. <laughs> so... That, that two inches was too much. Okay, so well, we need to move the buckle by about 10 inches. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, 10 inches less. Okay. Okay, more tight. Okay, close yeah, it. Yeah, that's good. Huh? Close it. Right in the middle. Okay, cut. That will be good. Yeah. Can you uh, turn? Uh, sign it off. Okay. We cut off the, the excess. Way too much excess. And you gotta burn the ends. Get those little strings. Melt it. So it never unravels. And put it back in the retainer. It can't. It literally can't get smaller. We'd have to take these rings off. <laughs> I prefer to do a little round. Make it round, easier yeah. to get in the corner. Uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. okay. Then we'll burn it. Okay, the next is the most one of the most important component. It's the crutch strap to hold the back plate in place. Funny that, fact, on mine, we use this ring as uh, we hook it to the scooter. Yeah. <laughs> so the scooter, if I drop it, it just grabs. Not the scooter like on the road, but underwater scooter. So this, this BCD, or this back plate has uh, these slits. It's a two inch Mine doesn't, slit. they come from the side, but this one does. So it made it a lot easier just for one strap. Let it go like that. Yeah. It's definitely too big, but... This one goes in here. Yeah. Because this one cannot pass through. Right. Okay. So this one actually should be fixed on the... Uh, before, after, before the weight belt. The, no, the, before the lock. Before the belt. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's why you call it quick release. Yeah. All right. So the type of design of the that quad strap should be fixed in the yeah. belt. Okay. All right. We do have this like soft neoprene cover that goes on the crotch strap to make it comfortable. But just like the shoulder straps, we're not going to put it because it just adds a lot of buoyancy. Uh, Lock, lock it. Good. I want this one to be in the center. No, no, no. Uh, put it in the center, the crotch strap. <coughs> no, this one. Put it in your navel, there. Make sure that it's in the center. This one. Okay, so we need a little adjustment. Moving that buckle over about two inches. Okay, good. More, 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 more. So make sure that this is on the center, huh? Okay. 
There. There. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Shay, look at me. Can you reach me? There. There, yeah. Oh, cool. Right. Need, okay, it good. actually needs longer. Yeah, good. Nice. So that's how you fit the. Okay, I wanted to reach out the back. Can you touch the back plate? Good. Okay. Now it's not gonna ride up or anything, yeah. and it's not gonna place. ride up. This one, even though it's uh, a little, a little loose. bit loose, that's fine. The important thing is, you need this one needs to be secured. So we got these little uh, bookend screws for the back plate and donut. Just a single tank adapter or the STA, which holds the. Uh, tank in place okay good quality yeah it's aluminum nice little aluminum one show them this <laughs> buckle yeah it is very complicated for me you got to be careful of uh snapping your fingers too yeah we put in the weight pouch yeah we're gonna put these little weight packs pockets weight pockets this one goes to the top this one goes to the bottom. Just put two little pockets on there. Actually, compared to her, those look huge. Little grips. Grips onto the tank. So just for the occasion, I got you the tiny tank. So this tank strap is most common in Scuba Pro BCDs. Scuba Pro. Yeah. I've seen this as a standard for Scuba Pro. So, yeah. yeah. Both straps on the tank, single tank adapter. The bottom strap will have little weight pockets. Just little cheapies for now. It's getting dark outside, so I had to put up this uh, light. But okay, now can I see that? Can you hold that up? Looks good. We got this nice pink donut. Now for the bottom screw. One last detail, we want to put this little uh, bungee for the inflator hose. All right, Shai, we need to do one last fitting. Okay, then put the press strap. Okay, put in the press strap.
So that's how you wear the uh, Wait a little bit. Okay, make sure, look, look at me, make sure that this is not high enough. It's not high, too much high. Make sure that it, uh, it sits properly. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this one aligns to the bottom of the armpit. Okay, so the, the placement is correct. So for the other side. Can we inflate it a little bit? Yeah. It aligns to the bottom of the... You can, I wanted to inflate it a little bit, manual inflation. Uh, yeah, manually. Yeah. Inflate it full. Keep going, keep going. A little bit. All right. Right? So, this one, you see you have the excess, you just put this one inside. Okay, there. I need this one to be free. Okay, because if you clip your uh, SPG here, Okay. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. You think that'll be a good one uh, for all the students? Yeah. Let, let, let me see, turn around. Santa all. So we didn't really make this for the students. This is gonna be your, your new BCD. <laughs> That's okay? So we wanted to make you your own custom uh, BCD. Yeah. See, even even Pau has a pink, uh, even Pau has a pink uh, collar. <laughs> See, so you See? like it? Yeah. Pau is happy. So you won the scuba Olympics yesterday, so we had to get you a new BCD. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. You got to thank uh, Dexter. He helped us get this one. Thank you, Sir Dexter. Yeah. So you like it, huh? Yeah. Okay. So come back tomorrow, we need to dive tomorrow. Yeah, we need to uh, start training with the, this different type, not, you know, because you're used to the uh, jacket type. Yeah. But Mark Mark likes teaching in this uh, type of backplate BCD. You'll have good trim and good buoyancy, everything all sorted out with this, this style, you know, with all your, we got little tiny weight pockets on the, on the bottom and yeah. That will be enough for what you need. Yeah. This will last you forever. Yeah. And if the if you tear it, you can replace one little, you know, just this or just this. Every little piece we can replace instead of the whole thing. So, yeah. yeah. We can embroider it, put your name on the sides, Critter Republic, something. <laughs> so, there you go. High five. Tell Uncle Dexter if you win the Scuba Olympics next year, you need a new regulator. Uh, <laughs> Chuck's, Chuck's looking good? Yeah. Yeah, I saw the photo. We'll go do it tomorrow. I gotta show you something. We got Shy a little present. Oh, yeah. Show him what you got. Oh, uh. Show him. Show him your new toy. Yeah. Oh, sign up all, huh? No. no. <laughs> don't don't be jealous, Alex. You can't wear it because it literally only fits her. <laughs> wow, nice. Pretty, huh? Yeah. And it's Credit Republic Pink. You can't steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the sh you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you